Now, before we finish up talking about viewports, one important note about viewports is that they can be locked and unlocked by simply selecting one and clicking on the lock icon at the bottom right of the toolbar down here or right clicking and choosing display lock and just hitting yes. A locked viewport will no longer move when you double click inside it. It is locked in that view and at that scale. This prevents you from accidentally moving it if you are making changes through the viewport here because anything you change in say the viewport affects the rest of the drawing. You can see I just deleted that yellow hatch and it's disappeared in this view as well. It will have disappeared in model space. So again, this is just a window looking into model space. So changes you make are permanent and going to affect your design and model. Now there are workarounds and I've got videos on that, including things like viewport specific colors, layers and settings. So you can have some layers and colors display in one viewport that don't display in another viewport. And those are all controlled through your layer property manager and then through these VP uh, properties. So VP means viewport, so viewport line type, viewport color, viewport line weight, all of these, including the viewport freeze, will only affect the viewport that you've got selected. So if you want to go into the viewport, as I have here, you can start changing viewport colors and viewport layer freezing options. And you can see here if I select, say, everything with control A and viewport freeze it, everything's going to be frozen or not display in this viewport. But you can see down here, it's not affecting my other viewports. Now that's a drastic example, but you can go through and change individual colors, individual layers, line types, and align weights. And this is only going to affect this viewport if you've got it selected and you're only changing the VP columns of your layer manager.